Our next option here is show hyperbola. So this option can be very useful to track the velocity of the medium uh, where you acquire your data. So sometimes you're gonna cross uh, some structures like pipes or boulders and those structures might create a hyperbola. And the way that we can use this option here is I'll go to the very top of the hyperbola and then click so we can have the coordinates for the top of the hyperbola. And then you can come here and say show hyperbola. And the first option that I need to input here is the position along the profile, which is our X position. So let's say 26.024. And then GPRPI is gonna ask what's the two-way travel time. This is our Y position. In that case is 70.881. And then GPRPI is gonna ask you to guess the velocity. So if you guess the correct velocity, you should be able to see a very nice hyperbola overlapping this hyperbola that we have here. If you have the wrong velocity, they will just not overlap well. So let's try 0 0.15 nanoseconds. And you see here our hyperbola is just not perfect with this hyperbola that we have here. So what we can do is to give another try. So I'm going to input my coordinates again. So we're starting with the profile, 26.024, and then 70.881. And I'm going to try a different velocity this time, of 0 0.11. And you see, this one, it's getting better. So once you have a perfect overlap, you can just get your velocity.